Do you have an iPhone 6 and 6s Plus and you received a new software update? And after updating a new software on our iPhone 6s and 6s Plus, a number of people are having problems with their battery. Some says they have a quick battery draining, some says they have a overheating issues within their battery, some says battery is not staying for too long, other minor and major issues with their battery. So if you have any problem with your battery in terms of draining or anything else, you gotta follow 5 effective solutions to solve your problem. So let's get started. Well, now to stop the battery draining issues on your iPhone 6s and 6s Plus, the first things we're going to talk about is your notifications. Now, if you open up your settings and go to your notification, and from here, if you take a look at here, there is a lot of application. Well, we understand there are some applications that you might want to receive notification, but others you don't. So, choose your application that you don't really need to receive any notification for. Let's say, for example, your App Store. Now, if you're not using that application to get a notification, all you can do is you can turn it off to save your battery life. And you can do exactly the same things for other applications that you don't use at all. Well, the next thing we're going to talk about is your location. Well, now, if you open up your settings and scroll all the way down to your privacy and then tap on there and choose your location service. Now, we understand location service is kind of important, but it's not really important for every application. First work you want to do is to find out some specific application that constantly asks for the location service. All you want to do is choose that application there and turn this off. And that way you will be able to save some battery life on your iPhone 6s and 6s Plus. If you still think or if you are looking for a way to save battery even more, in the next way we're going to talk about your application itself. Now if you open up your settings here and scroll down here and simply choose on your battery. Now, once you come over here, now you have to do a little work around here first. You have to scroll down and you need to find out the third party application that is causing the extreme battery on your iPhone 6s and 6s Plus. Now, after just take a look at here, if you found out the application here, get out of here and now tap and hold the screen and simply delete the third party application to solve your problem. Well, the next things you want to do, just open up your settings and then scroll down to your general. From here, you need to scroll down a little and choose your background app refresh. Now, if you enable this option from here, it will constantly just refresh your every single application's backgrounds. Therefore, all you want to do is you can just uh, turn up the, some of the specific application from here, or if it fades, if you turn them all, and to just save your battery life on your iPhone 6s and 6s Plus. After doing all of that, if you still really want to save your battery life, especially when you are traveling anywhere and you want your battery health to stay even longer, then the last thing that you guys can do, you can open up your settings and then scroll all the way down to your battery and from there, you need to enable that low power mode. And now this will indeed block some of the things like notification on other stuff on your iPhone 6s and 6s Plus to save your battery life. Well, if you follow every single thing that we have showed earlier, battery draining problem will be solved and your battery will last longer than usual. So, I hope you find this video useful, guys. If you think so, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later.